82 billion dollars, more than 77 million dollars, 100 million dollars. I want you to know that we'll be there to help you. The announcement started in March, millions and billions of dollars at a time. Money first to help workers suddenly out of a job and businesses not allowed to open. The Canada Emergency Response Benefit will provide $2,000 a month. We're facilitating a wage subsidy up to 75%. Then came $9 billion to help post-secondary students, $2.5 billion for seniors and money for farmers. $125 million National Agri-Recovery Initiative. All of it adding up to a staggering total, more than $150 billion and counting. So the question, of course, are these measures helping Canadians? Is this enough? Nim Calvaz was laid off from her job as a hotel attendant, and she joins me now from Surrey, British Columbia. Good to see you, Nim. Hi, Rosemary. Thanks for having me. So you were laid off, not surprisingly, as hotels and the tourism sector closed down. What have you, uh, what have you done to help yourself, and how has the government helped you? Um, the government... Um help us with the CERB, the $2,000 um, benefit that they're giving us. But aside from that, there's not much available for for the workers. And it's pretty disappointing, but we're hoping in the long run or long term, the government will figure out something for the workers, especially in my industry. We are the most hardly hit because we 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 rely on tourism for for our business and for our our work and seeing how things right now it's going to be a while before people want to travel or stay in hotels well and i think your issue is more complicated because the $2000 is not just helping you it's also helping your daughter who is in the philippines is that right yes so aside from myself I'm helping a family in Philippines and I'm sending them money mostly every month. And the living expenses in Vancouver alone is very expensive. From $2,000, my rent is almost $1,500, $500 what's left for food and, and um, groceries. And that's, that's nothing. And I am using other resources like credit card to stay afloat. And, and how long do you think you can go on like that, Nim? Um, it's not long. Like after a couple of months, and I'm not just speaking for myself, I'm speaking for, for my coworkers, the hotel industry, and I'm sure a lot of us, not just hospitality industry, is hit hard with this. The majority of, of, of workers are, are struggling, and it's very devastating for for everyone to navigate in this um, hard times. Sure. Um, I'm going to talk to the finance minister in a moment. If you had anything that you wanted to ask him, what, what would you say to him? Um, I'd like the government to think of, of helping workers in the long term, because right now it's, it's fine. But after maybe a month or two, even right now, we're not okay. It's uh, where we lose half of our, our our wages, and that's very hard. But we can manage for short term. Long term, we need the government to think about how how are we gonna survive as as an mm -hmm. industry. As I've said, like we rely on tourism, and it's gonna be sure. a while before it's gonna come back. Who knows if we're gonna come back this year? We're thinking more likely it's gonna take us eighteen to twenty four months to recover, and. Yeah losing our job it's we or we also lose our health benefits uh and our our right to return to work is 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 on jeopardy as well so we're not just looking at financially but we mm -hmm. are looking with a big picture and our future it. and it's very sad because a lot of us we have put 20 30 40 years of our lives doing this job and and it's it's so devastating that we don't know what the future holds and no one can answer it for that. Right now, we're just waiting for 
for what's available to us and the two thousand dollars i'm not speaking just for myself i'm sure I'll, it's not it's not enough okay nim calvez thank you so much i'll put some of that to the finance minister uh, i wish you good health and uh, and good luck there thanks for speaking with us very thank much. you very much for having me we have nim who is one of the organizers of the rally in front of the Hyatt. Can you tell me how do you feel about the event of today? It's awesome, it's great. We have so many supporters. The workers are in are very happy. They have their they feel the support and we're very thankful for all the community and other union allies who came. For those people that do not don't know what are they asking, the hotel workers, can you tell me what what exactly are the things that the hotel workers are asking at this moment through this strike? Yes, number one is our job security. If we have no job, we have no future, we have no lives. The second one is we need workload reduction. We're killing ourselves there every day to do the job. And it's not, it's too much. We said enough is enough. And of course, number three is we want safety. We don't want to kill ourselves. We don't want to injure ourselves every day working such a heavy workload. And the company just wants to talk about money. It's not about money because what they're going to do is they're going to give us what money wage increase and they're going to cut our jobs. Now tell me, how are corporations responding to this strike? Do you think they are scared at this point or they still top? How's your sense? Oh, they're they're terrified. All the managers are doing a job is exhausted to the ground, and the bad, uh, and then too bad for them because they're in salary. They don't get paid with extra. <laughs> I, uh, my coworkers yesterday took a video of our HR and all of managers doing our job, and I feel so sorry for them. It's too bad. I'm like, oh God, I don't know how you how you guys gonna last long. I I, I, feel, I have a feeling after a week they're gonna be dead tired, or some of them is gonna be like. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for another job or something. It's just too much. It's just too much. One of the reasons why we're striking is we want the management to experience our job. How exactly. we do it every day. Every exactly. day. Exactly. This is what we do every day. Yes. Let's see how you feel. Exactly. You're working for one week and you're dead. <laughs> That's great. Um, why anyone who's not a hotel worker should be invested in this strike? Because this contract is going to change the, the city, it's going to change the industry, it's going to change the lives of, of workers. We're not just asking for money. Of course we need money. This city is so damn expensive. We can't keep up with anything. But we, we're trying to change our life. We're trying to look to get quality jobs. We're trying to to change our family's lives, we're trying to change our future. And uh, it's good. we're going to, we're, I know we're winning. We are winning, we're very strong. And once we get this contract, it's gonna expand to all the industry. I always say that this movement is gonna open a wide door to all the social movements, because this is a breakthrough. Yes. So Nim, thank you so much for talking.